it's abundantly clear that Labour lied through its teeth to get into power. We've had 19 weeks of scandal, lies and U-turns from this government. Just today, Ed Miliband's U-turning on his net zero policies. But none of this is as bonkers as another story that broke this week. During the Chancellor's uh, Mansion House speech, Guido Fawkes reported that her LinkedIn had been updated. I wonder why. She had previously claimed that she was an economist at HBOS for three years. But during the speech, <laughs> that was updated to say she was in retail banking. Well, it turns out she was actually, supposedly, allegedly, should I say, that she was actually working in a small complaints department handling IT and administrative processes. So it begs the question, as she has used her economist title at HBOS in her own campaign literature, if this is true, has she committed some type of fraud on her local electorate who would have voted her in based on the things they'd read about her? Now, of course, there's been a lot of scandal and lies in this government, but this is a really bizarre one. Should we have somebody who is clearly a charlatan and underqualified as Chancellor, the second highest office in our country? Should Rachel Reeves resign for this? Yes, well, think? hang on. Uh, we need uh, Susie to... Uh, give us the Labour line, Sue. Yep, OK, I'm going to give you my Labour line, OK? First of all, I know Rachel Reeves so well, and she's absolutely lovely. Number two, you know, I may not agree with Kemi Badnock. I may not like the things that she says, but I'm happy to respect that she's an intelligent individual, she's skilled and she's able, and I just don't like this kind of stuff. I just think it's like, well, you, you know... Because I think, I, think, I think she's very able. And you know what's fascinating? Double standards here, because I bet you guys are all OK with the fact that Donald Trump has just appointed a a whole lot of people to roles who they don't necessarily have, you know, a, a CV that lines them up with that role. Now, you guys can argue there's other skills that put them in, and I'm, I'm happy to agree with that. But, you know, you can't have double it's standards here. It, it, is, it is, of course, but, you know, we reiterate that it is just reports from mm. Guido, and there, there was a, allegedly a change on LinkedIn, yes, right? Correct. That's where we're coming from on this. But, I mean, do you buy what Susie's saying? She's saying, hang on, Renee, leave her alone. She's a good woman, a good chancellor. Well, so I who would... doesn't embellish their CV? You know what? Then? I would buy that if we haven't seen since her budget the market's looking worse yes. than when trash trust crashed the economy. Nobody's saying anything about Rachel. She has trashed the economy. The markets have gone down. The pound has fallen. It is a disaster. Yeah, so we, she's not qualified. We, the audience can see here the change that took place. Obviously, Guido Fawkes reported this. Now, I, I think this is really quite something because you can't get into the highest office saying, I've done all this economist work, I've done all these things. I mean, she was an economist at some point in her career, I believe, for the Bank of England. But that's not the point. You cannot misdirect the public. You cannot misdirect your local electorate. And I think that's scandalous, in my opinion. If it was Jeremy Hunt, the BBC, The Guardian, and all these other lot would be all over it going, Jeremy yeah, Hunt's lied on his seat. I mean, I, I'm going to just be honest. I really just, for me, this is, this, is, this is small things, OK? I think when it comes to the economy, let's see where we're at. We've had, like, what, less than a month since um, the, the budget came out. And I'm, I'm just going to say, 14 years of the Tories, oh. what have they got to show well, for Susie, that? Susie, Susie, NHS that falling hit. apart, schools falling apart, and this oh. is not just Labour lines, well, this hey, is me. Listen, this is what I see in my area. You'll find no stronger an ally that the Tories weren't up to it. But what I would ask you is, when you consider the stories that were out in, what was it, two years ago, no, but perhaps even last year, around the, the plagiarism some allegations with Rachel Reeves's book. Is there yeah. is this building up a narrative yeah. that actually suggests that the Chancellor is dishonest? I mean, look, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, all of my experience of Rachel, and I've known her for over a decade, is she's a lovely person. I'm you know, sure she's, she's a hard so person. Lovely, but not I'm just sure that, but not just lovely, that, sorry. But that I look at that budget. To I, the I, but, but I disagree. Checkout. I mean, I disagree. I'm sorry. But look what Liz Truss did, and I'm sorry, but that is the comparison. But we had Liz Truss. People in this country, you know, have struggled, and their mortgages have gone through the roof because of Liz Truss. And we're talking about Rachel Reeves. What has Rachel Reeves done wrong? No, but they're also 
have a look. Now. Let's talk over each other. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm let's see. Say, let's mortgages see. Mortgages have just gone up as a result of this budget. So, I mean, what, what Renee is saying is that, that actually we're getting similar consequences. We've got the yeah. bond, bond markets have gone up. We've got the, the economy is crushed. We've got millionaires fleeing the country. And we've got people's mortgage rates Listen, going up. Listen, man. I think millionaires... I think can I just say something? Sorry. I've just been in America. Do you know what I like about their wealthy people? They invest in the next startups, the next... Let's not call him Elon, Elon Musk, but the next... In this country, how... How sorry, but how selfish can you, you be know why, that you benefit? You know no, sorry, you country. benefited from the education system. I, so what? I, I you stay America, here, I have a legacy, will, will have I, a legacy, I, and give to the next oh, generation. I, I, I if you yeah. can't be asked to stay in this country, then go. Yeah. Go. A couple of things. Number one, they're not going to be available <laughs> to invest in this country because they're all leaving this country because of the Labor government. But the other thing which is annoying about the lies specifically is because in absence Alleged of any lies. sort of. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. yeah, sorry, Ofcom. Uh, because in absence of any ideology, in absence of any agenda, in absence of any charisma, they rely on this pearl-clutching moralism led by Starmer. And as a result of that, when they actually turn out to be as corrupt and dodgy as the next politician, it's just so difficult to swallow. Hey, I wouldn't have minded if she'd copied and pasted from the years of Thatcher, maybe, and started some tax... I know, and actually, sort of saying about this, she's a nice woman. I'm a nice woman, but imagine I'd been practising as a doctor for two years, your doctor, and suddenly you discover that actually yeah. I was just had the course in first aid. Can I just say, just judge us, judge us on our record. No, seriously, because you know what? Well, I am judging you guys, on the record. No, 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 because when I say something, really I, bet if I, asked, I bet if I asked you guys what you thought about the last Labour government, you guys would be like, oh, it was terrible. Well, I'm sorry, people could get a doctor's appointment, kids went to school well, and had, and had, way, we had way more teachers. You know, and I'm sorry, but judge us on our record, and our record is going to be better than the Tories. And we've had millions of people yeah, come here since then. <laughs> My friends, if you're still watching, thank you very much, and I've got a request for you. Thanks to viewers like you, Reasoned UK, we're on a roll. We're standing up to the walk brigade and championing British pride, especially for the next generation. We're one of the only voices out there that are actually targeting young Brits, seeking to wake them up from this lefty fog and reminding them of what it means to be British. And here's the deal. I want us to go further than that. I want to see Reasoned take on the mainstream left-wing media, a dominant culture here in Britain. We're aiming to expand with more presenters, with hard-hitting documentaries, with live events, with crash courses, the lot. But for that, we need you. We're picking one day to fundraise for this next level project, and that's where you at home come in. We're asking if you'd sign up to share our fundraiser link with your friends and networks on the big day itself. It's a small ask with the potential for a massive impact. Plus, the top fundraisers, you'll bag yourself exclusive goodies and a chance to meet some very special guests, VIPs. More importantly, you'll be standing with us, rallying young Brits to the values that make this country great as much as the left try and destroy it. So if you're in, click the Google form in the description below, drop in your details and I'll be in touch. Cheers very much. Let's make it happen together.